Hey guys, this is Chris here. Just giving you a, a quick video here. I've had a few comments from some viewers asking about, um, you know, how many times do we let canaries breed um, and, and that sort of thing. And so just gonna take a couple minutes here and just talk a little bit about, you know, some of the recommendations that I have read from other breeders and recommendations that I've seen over the years um, from my experience. And so, um, typically, um, I really focus here. It's not really focusing. There we go. I really only want it to try to let my canaries breed two times each year. Um, and the reason for that is, is breeding can be really taxing, especially on the hens. You know, they're, they're using up a lot of calcium to lay their eggs and raising their chicks is a lot of hard work. And so... You know, I have let some canaries breed um, three times, and they've been fine. I've I've let some breed um, three times, and some of the hens didn't make it through the molt, and I think it's because they were so stressed and, and worn out. And so, you know, there's a couple things that I go by. You know, if, if, if the pairs um, hatch two or more chicks um, both times that they sit, I usually will let them be done. Um, if I have a pair, so like for example, this pair here, if they their first round they hatch chicks and raise them, which they raise two chicks, and then they lay again and the eggs didn't hatch, um, which was the result with this pair, um, I let them lay uh, a third time to try and get it. And if that third time they don't get any babies successfully, they're done. Or if they hatch babies and they die, they're done. Um, just just because I don't want to stress them out too much. And so, um, you know, if you have a lot of calcium supplements on hand, you know, cuddle bone, grit, um, crushed shells, egg food, you know, that sort of thing, it's it's easy for the, the hand to, to keep her calcium levels at a level where she can lay a third time. Um, if, if her eggs on that second clutch didn't work out. And so, you know, so my recommendation would be, you know, as a breeder, um, only let them breed two times a year, um, whether they have, you know, and if those, both those times, you know, they need to have chicks. And so, um, if they have one round and have chicks and then the second round doesn't work out, usually I let them do a third round and it doesn't seem to be as taxing or as hard on the parents and so you know that that would be my advice for canary breeders and and you know this is just from experience this isn't anything that i've read and this isn't you know scientific data or anything like this this is just from my experience throughout the years of breeding canaries um you know three times three clutches of raising chicks is is, is pretty gruesome and hard especially on the hens and you know so typically I try and go with the rule of thumb of let them breed two times um, the only time I let them try a third is if during their, their first or second attempt the chicks um, didn't hatch out or, or weren't raised properly and so I'll let them try one more time but <clears throat> that that's really about you know what I have there and so um, you know and a little bit of advice sometimes hens will lay multiple eggs you know more than four um, you know it's it's hard for them to incubate all the eggs at once if they have you know more than five eggs in the nest and so you know if your hens have laid more than five eggs if you have another hen that you can transfer some of the eggs to uh, that would be great um, if you don't have that option, you know, let her sit on them for five to ten days and then candle them and then pull out the eggs that aren't fertile to give the other eggs that are fertile a better chance of hatching out. And so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like me to chat about. Uh, leave a comment below and like. Thank you.